I have a question. Is it possible to break your clitoris? <gasps> well, this is a very funny thing. I actually, I actually thought I did one time. When? I it was, well, it was, I was what? I was in my late 30s, and I had just started this new relationship <laughs> affair with Grant. Too and, much sex, oh, I've done this. <laughs> oh, and we were having sex, sex, mm -hmm. sex, sex, and I mean, and sex was mm -hmm. begetting sex, and I was home one evening, and I thought, oh, and I'm thinking about what we did the night before, it was so hot, and I started to masturbate, <laughs> and I couldn't come, and I couldn't. And I rested a moment, then I tried again. And I got at the vibrator, and I tried to get a fantasy, and I replayed what we did the night before. I could not get off. And that's a horrible feeling, right, ladies? It's a horrible, horrible oh. feeling. Oh, and I actually called him. I said, uh, and you I... You have to come over now. This is an emergency. <laughs> no, I think I said, <laughs> my clit's broken. It won't come anymore. And he laughed. <laughs> it's a very sturdy, sturdy little organ. Yes. And unless you cut it off, which you're not going to do, there's no way you're going to lose or break your clit. Now, you can chafe it, and oh. I did that after post-breakup. I was in a masturbation frenzy because I had finally had sex with someone else for the first time. And uh, he came before I had my panties down from out around my ankle. <laughs> you know, he was oh, dear. bent forward one of those, and I was like, Oh, dear, oh, dear. He's pulling the condom off. Oh, my God. And I was so upset about it, and I went home, and I masturbated all weekend long, and I chafed my clit, and I did the same exact thing. Okay, there you have it. In your teens, your clit will respond a certain way, and in your 20s, it'll, you know, respond. And then in your 30s, it changes. each decade, there's going to be a different quality to the sensitivity. Now, it could get better, or it could diminish a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think what we have to see is that it's expanding and contracting in terms of how much sensation. And I think that's kind of exciting in a way. It's not always the same. Who wants anything the same? No two orgasms are exactly yeah. alike. And if they are, I would consider upgrading my masturbation skills. So if you think you've chafed your clit, what do you do? Let it rest. <laughs> and I always Don't touch it again. <laughs> vitamin E oil is a good healer. Ooh, vitamin I like that. E. Oh, yeah. And what if your clit isn't sensitive at all? What do you do? Well, that's another case of broken. You know, it doesn't yes. work. I think, now, you know, this is, there aren't, I don't know that there's any kind of stats on this, but. I don't think they've done that study. I don't, I don't believe in it anyway. Uh, it hasn't been, I say it hasn't been awakened. And so when you think about our sex organ, we don't, a lot of us don't play with it as yeah. children, or we've been dissuaded, you know, go play with your dolly. Distracted. Um, or you get busy. You're just stressed out. You don't have enough time. That's when you're in college. You, know? you don't have time to do yeah. anything except crack the books. And then you're building your career. <laughs> and right, then you have that phase. Or you're having a family. <laughs> Let's say there are nerve endings. Up at the pleasure center in the brain, that those pathways that go down to the clitoris have never been used or have been used you know, infrequently. you got to build that muscle up, flex it's, it. So it's, can... whether, whether it's a nerve thing or it's then also pumping the blood into the area. Circulation. So it's got nerves, circulation, and then mental. Yeah. And all your time you're doing is, oh, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Feeling oh, guilty. Oh, I, did I hear someone? Is someone oh, coming? they're coming. They're coming. Oh. Someone's coming. <laughs> so that would be um, a clip that needs to be awakened. So you should masturbate then. I yeah, on on those cases I would say get a vibrator. Trust your clitoris. It is going to be your best friend once you give her a chance. That's the Vulva Mirror. Check out our new latest sex skills. Manual skills, we have the video ready on the site right it's, now. Oh, it's up. And so you watch these women how they explore their genitals and clitoris mm -hmm. and you imitate them. You get to know her. And I say give her a name, get intimate. She's your best friend.